With me is the run machine from Australia, Michael Hussey. Michael, you seem to adapt to different conditions and pitches pretty easily. What's the secret? <laughs> I think looks can be deceiving. I don't really adapt that quickly, but um, no, I just try and play the situation of the game and, and whatever the team requires at that stage. So if, uh, if you come in and there's been a few early wickets, then I guess it's just about trying to resurrect the innings and, uh, and get another partnership going. And uh, obviously if you come in late and uh, there's only a couple of overs to go, you've just got to try and do your best and swing as hard as you can and hopefully hit a few uh, fours and sixes. And how do you remain calm in those pressure cooker situations? <laughs> Again, it might look calm, but uh, generally I'm not very calm out there. I'm pretty, uh, you know, jumping around. But um, no, I think it's just about yeah, focusing on the on, on the basics, focusing on uh, what the situation of the game is, and then uh, and then just trying to see the ball and let your instincts take over. So that's uh, that's all I try and do, I guess. Great start for Australia in the tournament, winning two in two. Now gearing up for the tough contest against India. Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a real tough Super Eights uh, section of the tournament. Uh, we're, we're you know got really tough games. The first one against India is going to be uh, a crucial match. Um, I think they're you know they're, they're a great 2020 team. They've got a, a lot of match winners in that team. And we're going to have to play at our best. But you know I believe if we play at our best, we can beat we can beat any team. And what do you make of the group overall with Pakistan and South Africa being the other two? Yeah, both very tough uh, teams as well. You know. Um, yeah, it's, we're, we're, you know, you've got to beat the best teams to, to get through to the semi-finals and win the final anyway. So you might as well play them, and uh, and if you can beat them, then you know you you know you've got a great chance when it comes to semi-finals and fin finals time. Your batting has delivered in the first two matches, but the bowling suffered against a tough uh, opposition, the West Indies. So how are you gearing up for the tough batting of India? Yeah, well they've got a very classy batting order, um, so you know it's yeah it's going to be a challenge, but. Uh, I think the bowlers have been working extremely hard, and uh, and you know they've been doing a very good job. You know when you got someone like Chris Gale in the in the team, and uh, and even Marlon Samuels batted brilliantly the other night. In 2020 cricket, the balls can just fly anywhere, so anything can happen. But uh, I thought the bowlers held their held their nerve and held their cool pretty well. Um, maybe if we can, uh, we'll have some very clear clear and concise plans for the Indian players, and if we can execute those, then I'm confident we can uh, we can do a good job. Thank you very much, and go well. Mike. Okay, thank you very much.